At this hour, Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras is addressing Parliament. He's explaining his decision to defer a scheduled loan repayment to the IMF, a decision that took much of Europe by surprise. It's an escalation of the months-long battle between Tsipras's government and its creditors. And here to tell us more is Hans Humes. He's the chairman and the chief executive of Greylock Capital. His firm added to its Greek debt holdings shortly after Tsipras and his anti-austerity party came to power in January. Hans, good to see you. How are you feeling about adding, having added to your portfolio with Greek debt? Um, you know, I think upside downside compared to any what other... What does that mean? How much you can make and how much you can lose at this point with Greek bonds compared to you know any other peripheral country in Europe I think the odds are in your favor I think the downside if something does fall apart um, is relatively limited I mean it's unlikely that they won't service the private sector bonds even if they do default to the IMF and the ECB which I think is unlikely um, and it's already been beaten up so much I mean it's a situation where everybody why scared. would they treat private bondholders any better than they would treat the ECB or the IMF um, in simple terms we already took a haircut um, what they're really looking for and one of the sticking points in the negotiations is debt relief for you know, from the official sector um, they have a maturity bump between five and seven years that they really need to deal with to get their finances in order going forward um, when we sat down at the table and negotiated with them, we, we ended up agreeing to a 53.5 percent uh, cut on the principal claim that we had against Greece. If you applied that to the official sector debt, Greece wouldn't have a problem. The real bump. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming here that you were not a buyer when the debt was originally sold. You bought it in the secondary market. We bought it in the, the secondary market, but I was on the steering committee helping negotiate. I'm just saying you didn't pay face full value. No, you, for brought, you bought it. I'm sure at a strong discount. Well, yeah, I mean we got okay. in after you know. I mean, we weren't a huge believer in some of the peripheral countries borrowing at the rates they were. In fact, we're really not much of a believer in some of the peripheral country you know borrowing at the rates they are now either. So I just would say that. You know, at this point, um, if things go wrong, you'll lose more than you will make if you if things go it, right. Isn't this a uh, sign the fact that they've skipped an IF, IMF payment, uh, telling you that things are going wrong? I mean, how is saying we're not going to pay you now, but we promise to pay you at the end of the month? That's to me. If if it was someone that owed me money, I would be like, uh, uh, this is a real problem here. Um, I think it's probably more an indication. I mean, there were signals that this was an option. You know, early this week, late last week, that the IMF has had payments bundled and paid, you know, one slot, uh, one shot during a month. Um, I think what the government, the Greek government, is looking for is some concessions. I mean, Cyprus is under pressure by the left wing of his party, although it's notable that Lafasanis, who's the number three in the government, hasn't been really attacking him in the press. But if he isn't getting any sign that there is any ability to make, con mm -hmm. you know, to make concessions on the debt load, why pay right now? He's not under as much pressure as he was, right? I mean, uh, everybody in Greece wants to stay in the Eurozone as far as the actual subjects. I mean, as far as the actual constituents there of the prime minister. And uh, fewer of them support Cyprus than did during the election. Fair. Um, I think that uh, I would say that if there are snap elections, the, there was some rumors that the EU was pushing to break apart the Syriza coalition and get them to form a coalition with either uh, Pasak or Patami um, to make a more centrist government. Um, I think Cyprus can hold its people together. I think the reason there has been progress in the last couple weeks is because the EU realizes that Cyprus can hold its people together and get it through in Parliament. But we'll see. I mean, it, this is definitely sort of a tipping point. If right. you like the bonds then, why don't you like them even more now? I do. So you'd be buying them now? Why not? I'm just asking. I, I mean, don't think it's a trade for a retail investor. No, no, no. But, I mean, but, but would you load up the boat? I mean, in other words, you're telling me that you can make more money than you would lose. At a big enough discount. At, at a big enough you discount. Know, so given the prices this morning and how the market reacted to the news coming out, it overreacted. You know, I think risk-reward, it's well in your favor.